be with you here today. First of all, I would like to thank for all professors for all the efforts that you have been doing for us. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak. So today I would like to share with you all an idea that might give you a one piece of inspiration, one piece of motivation that might help you out there change your life so I know that I have fulfilled my mission. <laughs> so, according, according to the United Nations, what is the freedom? Freedom means options. Freedom means choices. When I have my job as my only choice, when I have a job from 9 to 5, and an authority of above, <laughs> of course, <laughs> and I'm always scared to lose this job, I'm not free. How to create freedom for myself? By investing in myself. By making myself a brand, a valuable person who gives value to this society so that I increase my choices, I create freedom for myself. When I learn a new skill, when I learn graphic design, Facebook uh, ads, uh, online marketing, I'm increasing my options, I'm increasing my freedom. Then I will reach a level where I, I don't care anymore. If I lost my job, I lost this source of income, I don't care, I have other sources of, source of, of income. So, an author called Todd Heron, he wrote a book, he called Die Empty. The idea of dying empty is that each one of us come to this life with a special message has to deliver, and music has to play in this life. So make sure that you don't live your life without finishing what's inside you. Don't let anything inside you yet to be done. Die empty. So, could you move to the next slide, please? Yeah. <laughs> so, the key point of this is to believe in yourself. Because the achievements of our goal starts at the moment that we suspend our disbelief. By ignoring this inner voice that always says to us that you are not good enough, you don't have the experience, you will fail. The achievement of our goal starts at the moment that we suspend this disbelief. So, can you move to the next one, please? <laughs> So here, it's the first time I, I show this picture. This picture was my first seconds of filling in a live application, 2015. It was uh, December 2015. So at this moment, I took a selfie for myself. I don't know if you can. Yeah? Yes, that's me. <laughs> so at, this, at that moment, you may see I'm wearing gloves and jackets inside because at that moment, they were war, war in my country and there is no fuel, no warming system. So in this war conditions, all people around me say, Man, you are a dreamer, you are gonna fail, no one is gonna accept you, no one is gonna admit you. But the idea of suspending our disbeliefs, I believe in myself, I suspended my disbelief, and at the end, can you say, yes. <laughs> so here, in January 2016, the moments of submitting my application, I would like to document everything. So application was submitted January 2016, and here I am. So I received a congrats uh, message from Christine in May 2016, and I was ranked the fourth out of 456 students who applied for this master. So the idea of this slide, not to show off of myself, but to share the experience of suspending our disbelief of believing in ourselves. So please, I would like to encourage you at this moment to invest in yourself and suspend your disbelief. I hope that my message was delivered. Thank you all for listening. You are amazing.